Hello sports fans, it is Friday, May the 31st, the year 2013, and as usual, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Hard to believe we're in the last day of May, we are heading into June tomorrow. Let's recap what went on in the sports world last night. Let's start in the NBA, let's get down to Miami, where the Miami Heat beat the Indiana Pacers to go up 3-2 in the series. You know, it's funny. Indiana had a very nice first half. They were up four at the half. Indiana actually should have been up by more than four at the half. Missed a lot of laps in the first half, a lot of chipperoos around the basket. But overall, Indiana played well in the first half, had a four-point lead. And then the third quarter came, and Miami absolutely blitzed Indiana right off the court. Outscored them 30-13, to took a commanding lead, and never looked back. So Miami takes a 3-2 series lead. They now have two chances to close out Indiana. Listen, this should come as no surprise to any. I said Miami was going to win this series. I mean, they have LeBron James. They have the superstars. Indiana has no superstars. They have a good collection of players, but no superstars. Superstars win in the NBA. Indiana's putting on a, putting on a good show. They're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Miami. They're not afraid of Miami. They're just going to fall a little short. Just like they did last year. It's almost the same exact series as last year. Miami's going to get through. Make no mistake about it. We are looking at a Miami-San Antonio final. Last night for Indiana, Hill, one point. Stevenson, three points. Indiana, 17 turnovers on the road. Throw in all the missed layups in the first half. That's not a recipe to get a big road win. LeBron James, 30 points last night. He was very good. Heat shoot 50% from the floor. Very hard to beat Miami when they shoot 50% from the floor at home. So Miami gets the W last night. Game 6 tomorrow night in Indiana. Indiana trying to stay alive. Would it shock me if Indiana won? No. Would it shock me if Indiana won the series? Yes, I think Indiana can win Game 6 and tie the series. Do I think they're going to win the series? Absolutely not. I mean, I said it all along. They're going to put on a good show, but in the end, Miami is going to be too strong. They have the superstars. Indiana does not. The best team in the NBA usually always wins. The team with the superstar usually always wins. That's the case here. It was the case last year as well. Okay, so that was your NBA last night. No NHL. The NHL had the uh, night off last night. We got... The game's starting tomorrow. We got Pittsburgh, Boston tomorrow. We also have, you know, Chicago and L.A. kicking off tomorrow. Chicago and L.A. play Saturday and Sunday. As far as your Major League Baseball from yesterday, the Cubs beat the White Sox. You know, the White Sox were starting to play decent ball. Then the Cubs buried them this week. Uh, Baltimore shut out Washington 2-0. Cleveland uh, beat Cincinnati 7-1 uh, with a 7-run fourth inning. The Mets swept the Yankees four games. First time the Mets have swept the Yankees in interleague. I mean, I didn't see this coming. The Mets couldn't beat anyone coming into the series. And the Yankees, despite all their injuries, were playing really well. And the Mets just blitzed them four games. Who saw this coming? That's why you got to throw out records in rivalry games in any sport. Throw out records in rivalry games in any sport. So Mets get the sweep roo over the Yankees. Uh, Boston beat the Phillies last night. Pittsburgh beat Detroit. Pittsburgh's playing a really nice ball. Atlanta smoked Toronto last night 11-3. Tampa Bay beat Miami. What else is new? Miami can't win a game. Texas beat Arizona. Minnesota beat Milwaukee. I'll tell you, Milwaukee is starting to get down there with Houston and Miami as far as some of the worst teams in baseball. Uh, Kansas City beat St. Louis last night. Uh, 4-2. to This was an interesting game. St. Louis was winning 2-1 to in the ninth inning. Kansas City gets three runs in the ninth. Then it starts raining in the ninth inning. There's a four and a half hour rain delay. They finally pick up the game in the ninth inning. Kansas City holds on and wins, and the game ends at 3.15 in the morning local time there in St. Louis. Are you kidding me? And Kansas City, after the game, had to fly to Texas. I mean, how, how bad do you think Texas is going to be Kansas City tonight? I mean, what a joke. Kansas City has to play till 3.15 in the morning, then get on a flight to Texas and play a good Ranger ball club. Anyway, nice job by the Royals. They did win yesterday, snapped their long losing streak, and George Brett is the hitting coach for the Royals for the time being anyway. Good to see George Brett back with the Royals. A great game of George Brett, a classic Royal, Hall of Fame, a great player. Great to see him back in baseball. Houston beat Colorado last night. Seattle beat San Diego. King Felix wins. San Francisco finally beat Oakland. They salvaged the game in that series. And the Angels beat the Dodgers. The Dodgers look like they are going nowhere. Matt Kemp on the DL. I'll tell you, I know it's early. I know teams make runs all throughout the year in baseball. The Dodgers look like a dead caucus. I mean, now Kemp's on the DL. 
I don't think the Dodgers are going to fire this year, and I think Don Manningly is going to be gone after this year. I hate to say it, but there are such high expectations in Dodger land now. They spent a lot of money, new ownership. They are in last place, and they look like they just cannot get out of their own way. Angels win the last two games of the series. Angels are still four games under 500. They are playing a little better, but they have a lot of work to do as well. So that was kind of your scores from last night. As far as your weekend what to watch, tonight, no NHL, no NBA. You got a night off from both of them. The NHL resumes tomorrow. You got two games tomorrow starting at 5 o'clock Eastern Time. You got LA at Chicago game one, and then at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, you have Boston at Pittsburgh game one tomorrow. So a terrific doubleheader tomorrow to start the NHL playoffs back up. And then on Sunday, the Kings in Chicago come right back at you for game two, and then Pittsburgh Boston resumes their series on Monday. So the NHL playoffs should be magnificent this weekend. As far as your NBA, they're off tonight. Game six tomorrow, Miami at Indiana. Indiana, Miami up 3-2. Indiana trying to stay alive. Like I said before, would it shock me if Indiana won game six? No. Would it shock me if they won the series? Yes. I think it's Miami series to lose. I think we're looking at Miami-San Antonio in the finals. As far as your Major League Baseball series over the weekend, here they are. Arizona at the Cubs. Detroit at Baltimore. Nice series. Tampa Bay at Cleveland. Decent series. Boston at the Yankees. We'll see if the Yankees can recover after being blasted by the Mets. Milwaukee at Philadelphia. Philadelphia's got to get fat on a bad Milwaukee team. Cincinnati at Pittsburgh. Very underrated series. Two good teams. Pittsburgh playing very well. So are the Reds. Mets at Miami. Plenty of good seats available down there in South Florida. Washington and Atlanta, very nice series. I want to see Washington show me something. Washington's been stumbling and bumbling this year, not scoring any runs. Go out there and win a series down in Atlanta. Show me something, Washington. Kansas City at Texas. I mentioned this series before. Good luck, Kansas City. They played till 3.15 in the morning yesterday. Now they had to go on a flight to Texas to play a good Ranger ball club. Good luck, Kansas City in that one. Seattle at Minnesota. Ouch, that's not a good series. San Francisco at St. Louis. Very good. Uh, Dodgers at Colorado. I mean, are the Dodgers ever going to show signs of life? Houston at the LA Angels. LA Angels really need to take care of Houston this weekend. Go out and sweep Houston. Uh, White Sox at Oakland and Toronto on the West Coast at San Diego. That uh, That's your Major League Baseball series to look out for over the weekend. As far as some movies, if you're looking to go to the movies, the big movie that's out today in the theaters is After Earth with Will Smith and his son, now, to me, this movie looks bad. It's a sci-fi movie. I, I read a couple write-ups on it from zero to four stars. Everyone's giving it about one, one and a half stars. That's atrocious. I think it's going to be a bad movie. If you're looking to see a good Will Smith movie with his son, try The Pursuit of Happiness from years ago. That's based on a true story. Go watch that one. This one in the theaters after Earth looks terrible. But anyway, that's your big movie out in the theaters if you're looking to go to the movies. As far as DVD this week, the new movie on DVD is Die Hard 5. This also looks atrocious. I loved the first Die Hard, didn't like the second one, loved the third one, hated the fourth one, and I have a feeling I'm going to hate the fifth one. Looks like this series has run dry. Bruce Willis is off his game. I mean, he's been in a lot of bad movies in a row now. Can't remember the last movie Bruce Willis was in that I actually liked. Die Hard 5 is out on DVD. That looks bad as well. You might want to check out some old movies. I saw a few old movies I liked just recently. Mississippi Burning, 1988, with Gene Hackman and William Defoe. Very nice movie here. This is about two FBI agents uh, investigating the disappearance of three civil rights workers in Mississippi in the 1960s. Very good movie. I mean, somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half, three stars from zero to four. Very good movie. Definitely uh, worth watching. I also saw uh, Prince of Tides. That's 1991 with Nick Nolte and Barbara Streisand. Same thing. Somewhere between two and a half, three stars. Definitely worth uh, watching. It's about uh, Nick Nolte, his sister. It tries to commit suicide. And Barbara Streisand is a psychologist trying to get to the bottom of it. So she's you know talking to Nick Nolte about him and his sister. Very interesting stuff. Barbara Streisand is very good in everything. So is Nick Nolte. So Prince of Tides, another movie you might want to check out. Older movie. Also, 1995 Sense and Sensibility with Hugh Grant and Kate Winslet. I would give this movie about two and a half as well. Definitely not bad at all. More of a love story, not for everyone, but decent. So if you're looking for some older movies, Mississippi Burning 1988 with Gene Hackman and William Defoe. Prince of Tides with Nick Nolte and Barbara Streisand, 1991, and Sense and Sensibility, Hugh Grant, Kate Winslet, 1995. 
I would say all three of those movies from zero to four stars, somewhere in the two and a half to three star range. Are they great? No, but definitely better than average. If you're looking for an older movie to check out, those three, uh, you might enjoy those three. Like I said, it's a bad, uh, bad week of movies as far as DVD and in the movies. After Earth looks terrible, and the new Die Hard on DVD looks terrible as well. So you might want to check out an older movie. Even if you've seen these movies, they might be better than some of the old movies. I like watching, you know, old movies I've seen rather than some of these new movies. I mean, the older movies, you know what you're going to get. You know you're going to get something decent. These new movies, a lot of them are really, really bad. Okay, so you guys are all caught up. You guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the support. You guys, stay safe. Make sure you catch some of these games over the weekend. You got your big Miami-Indiana game six on Saturday. You got your NHL this weekend. Tremendous stuff. You got L.A. at Chicago Saturday. Then you got Boston-Pittsburgh on Saturday. Sunday, you got L.A.-Chicago game two. You got a lot of nice Major League Baseball series. You want to check out a movie or two. I listed some here. You guys, thanks for the support. Stay safe. Enjoy the games. I will be back with you Monday. We'll recap it all. You guys have a great weekend. Take care.